Hi, my name is Lola and thank you for clicking onto my video. And in this video, I'm just going to show you how I style my curly hair and how I how I got my curls to look like this and I show step by step and with all the products that I use. And yeah, this is just what works for me and if you have any questions regarding your curly hair or your child's curly hair, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do straight out of the shower is I like to fill up my sink with super cold water and I just dunk my head right in. And you can do this right after you get out of the shower but I don't know I just hate cold water touching my body so that's why I just do it in the sink and I try to leave it in for about a minute and I try to make sure I get all the hairs even the ones all the way in the back the cold water truly helps seal in moisture and reduces frizz So now all I'm going to do is detangle my hair using my fingers. So the first product that I like to use is Diva Curls Believe In and this retails for $20 and I got it at Ulta. I already parted my hair so right now I'm going to section the front hair from the back and going to put about a nickel size amount on each section. I love to use this as my leave-in conditioner because not only does it help eliminate frizz but it also starts plumping and forming my curls before I even put in my styler. For my styler, I use Diva Curls Wave Maker. This retails for $26 and I use about a quarter size amount on each section and I work it into my hair just like I did with the Believe In. Lastly, I use Diva Curls Archangel as my gel to seal everything in. This I also got at Ulta for $24. I don't section my hair for this part because I'm going to brush my hair afterwards and that will make sure everything is evenly distributed. Now I'm going to brush my hair with my Denman brush and I got this at my local beauty su supply store and it was under $10 and I truly am in love with this brush. I'm just going to brush my hair and then I'm going to shake it and it's going to make these super defined curls. And this is what is going to make my curls super swirly. Whenever I skip this step, my curls aren't as defined. Then with a cotton t-shirt, I'm going to scrunch out my hair. Then I'm going to plop my hair with a plastic cap. And then while I have it on is when I usually like to do my makeup because my hair is out of my face. This is two hours later after air drying. I always like to air dry before diffusing my hair because I want to limit as much heat to my hair as possible. And because of that is that I diffuse on high on warm and cold air. 
diffusing on high does add a little more frizz, but I don't mind that. If you do, then I suggest diffusing on low, but it'll take a little longer for it to dry. Now that my hair is dry, I'm going to flip my hair and with the tips of my fingers, I'm going to gently lift my roots up and this is going to add volume. And because I used the Denman brush, now I have all these curls that clump together. And now very, very, very carefully, I'm going to separate them to make my hair fuller. Now that we're done separating curls, now it's time to pick. And this is my favorite part. And I always go a little bit crazy, but this adds volume and I just love extra, extra, extra volume. And so this wraps up my hair routine. I'm just going to touch up my edges. I hope you have enjoyed this video and maybe learned something from it. And if you have any questions or just want to leave a supportive comment, feel free to comment below. Or you can also follow my Instagram page. Please share this video with a friend and please subscribe. I plan on uploading more videos about curly hair and other topics and I would love you for the support. Thank you for watching and see you soon.